So, for my last video talking about Flint Marco and the fact that essentially the Marco that we see in No Way Home is falling apart. He's at the end of his life cycle. Now that, and this is spoiler warning, this is a spoiler warning for people who have not seen No Way Home, we're going to be talking about essentially the ending and the possibilities that it sets up. Now that the villains have been saved, and not only have they been saved, they've been returned back to their respective universe. Are there new timelines that have been created because of this? Now, we see an aspect of this in regards to Loki, where Loki talking about the TVA and branches, which is when something happens when it shouldn't, the uh, timeline branches off to create a new timeline. Then once that timeline hits a threshold, it becomes set, and then that timeline becomes its own universe. By, let's say, saving Goblin, there are just wild possibilities that happen in Tobey Maguire's universe by saving Norman at the end of Spider-Man 1. It essentially means that Oscorp never gets in bed with Otto Octavius. He never gets the tritium that he needs to the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. Um, Harry never becomes a goblin. Healing Norman bond, mends the rift between Harry and Norman. They are now more or less father and son. Moving forward from that, we never see Harry attempt to use MJ against Peter or turn MJ against Peter. Peter and MJ's relationship is a whole lot better. There is no conflict or strife between both of the characters. Venom still arrives on Earth, but does he even end up on Spider-Man? Is there a conflict to cause him to end up on Spider-Man or put them in that type of situation? There are just a wild number of possibilities that happen just because you save Norman. Now, when you jump over to The Amazing Spider-Man, I feel as though in Andrew Garfield's universe, a lot's not going to change. And it more or less has to do with how it ends because at the end of Amazing Spider-Man 1, he essentially turns Lizard back into a normal human. Now, now that Lizard's back into a normal human, he ends up going to jail. Same thing, he gets turned into a normal human, he gets returned back to his timeline, he goes back to jail. Now for Electro, that's a little bit more different because at the end of Amazing Spider-Man 2, when Electro dies, he's just gone. Instead, we're actually healing Max, so when Max returns, he's just a normal person again. Chances are he'll get turned over to the authorities and he'll end up going to jail as well. Now, this is where the differences in the timeline definitely change. I don't see Lizard being cured being a major change for Andrew Garfield's universe, but by saving Electro, you more or less remove Gwen from the occasion where she may not die because Harry decides to basically fly down and attack them all. It's a completely different scenario. Electro is not dead. Peter's more aware of what's going on in the situation when he, when Harry comes flying in on, on his fucking glider. End up in the situation that she's in. It could be a situation where we see that Max is essentially remorseful now that he no longer has all that power running through his body and affecting his mind. He may actually try and save Gwen, knock her out of the way, something along those lines. That's where the question mark happens in regards to what could happen if welcome to what if <laughs> that's essentially what it is this is essentially no way home essentially sets up spider-man what if where it's just like the multiverse is constantly changing tom holland's peter parker has saved the villains from the other universes now they have returned back to their own universe causing new timelines to branch and form what shall happen to these Spider-Man? This is this is basically a situation that we're running into like right now. And like, I'm really hoping what if references these new timelines or Sony building whatever the fuck we're building over here in regards to Spider-Man references all this new shit because there is so much new stuff and so much possibility that I, I'm just like, the, the directions we could go in, just go, absolutely insane. 
like for instance okay so norman right we save norman new timeline oscorp doesn't work with uh octavius octavius doesn't get any arms he's just a normal dude but in another timeline norman's dead octavius gets saved he gets dropped back in he's a good guy at the end of the movie what the fuck or another timeline norman and oz or and octavius are both dead and essentially sandman gets saved and dropped back as a normal dude let's say in spider-man 3 see what i'm saying just it's just a big a big ball of wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff and i absolutely love it but if you made it to the end of this video thank you very much if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button and that like button if you've got any opinions about basically where these villains are going to end up are there going to be new timelines new universes for these spider-man comment down below let me know and i will catch you in the next one peace